Sometimes life throws strange coincidences at you. Around the same time that a friend gifted me Camera Obscura, I watched the documentary Tim Zermier, which features said device. With a little leap of logic, you can understand why this term is used for the game. Camera Obscura is a platformer where you can create after images of the level and have a few seconds to move them around. For instance, if a gap is too large, you can back up from the ledge, use your camera, and the ground you are standing on comes with you in the form of an after image, allowing you to cross the gap. I mean, technically the image that a camera obscura presents on the wall is an after image of the subject matter, but only in the sense of the speed of light. Regardless, it is a neat concept for a video game, but concept and execution are always two different things. For one, the control of the after image is very finicky. Often you will need to time your jump at the last possible moment before the image fades, as while the after image presents you with a platform to reach where you need to go by jumping up, the platform you wish to land on is being blocked by its own after image. Then to exacerbate such issues, enemies are introduced. They do add an element of urgency to your actions, but as the main mechanic is already frustrating, they are an unwelcome addition. Finally, the plot of why you are climbing the tower with your strange camera is told through collectible pages. Pages you have to often go out of your way to acquire. Considering how even getting to some of the doors was an issue, I personally had no desire to search such collectibles out. Perhaps those whom the game clicks with will have the drive to do so.